instances in class second. So I have con so I have constructed a data set and as you can see the escapes are zero from 0 to 20 and here also from 0 to 20. So the first step in any classification or uh, problem is to normalize your data set. In the code uh, that is available for download, that is this code. Here the first, uh, here the first step uh, that I have involved in this algorithm is the normalization. Here's a code that normalizes the data set. So you don't need to write a code for normalizing the data set. I, already, uh, I have already done it for you. So uh, in any classification problem, the first step is to normalize your data. So now let us uh, classify these two classes. So here's a um, command that will initiate this code. The name of the main file is seye perceptron main. Uh, you can see in your, uh, you you can download it. It is in it is in, uh, it is in that package, the MATLAB package, and here is the result. So, as we can see uh, in this. So this is the main uh, learning rule for the kernel perceptron learning algorithm. For each error made on the training instance, the alpha i, there's a weight for that training instance is updated. And here is a result of using the simple perceptron. Obviously the simple perceptron will fail. Uh, the, uh, by simple perceptron, I mean the perceptron with a linear basis function obviously if we use higher order polynomials such as degree 5 or 4 or 6 in this example then it's quite possible that the polynomial will separate these two classes but uh, but the main point of using the kernel uh, matters that you don't need to construct the base functions so here's a kernel the gaussian kernel with sigma 1 and here as we can see the kernel has separated these two classes So as you can see, here's a change of the scale. Here, the scale is negative 0 0.2522 and negative 2 to 2.5. Here, the scale is negative 3 to 4. Therefore, this data set looks quite different. And here, again, different scale. So as we can see, the benefit of using the kernels in the perceptron learning algorithm, we don't need to construct the basis functions explicitly. So thanks for watching this uh, this lecture I am Sanjeev from searching.com thank you